What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back to do the review for week five of the NFL slate. Um, I got caught up with some personal family stuff this weekend and I couldn't actually get recorded of anything. So next week we'll be back to doing videos on all the showdown slates. Or not next week, this week. We'll be back to doing all the showdown slates for week six. Um, for Thursday, Sunday, and Monday nights. Um... Yeah, apologize for not having those up, but this was the line that ended up playing, so I don't know what happened on FanDuel. My lineup didn't save, so this isn't really the lineup that I was going to play. It cashed. Um, the other lineup cashed as well. I think it scored a little bit better, uh, and I'll explain some of the pivots I had from this lineup, but uh, we'll hop into this. So this is the lineup I ended up playing. Um, I... When I looked and I had it, I wasn't extremely happy that it saved, but uh, I ended up rolling this, and it, and it cashed, so we moved to 5-0 and on FanDuel for whatever it's worth. Um, I really was going to go off of what I wanted it to be, and it cashed, so it's 5-0 and either way you slice or dice it. But uh, here's the lineup. Matt Stafford put up 15.22. Uh, regularly, I either had Russ or Mariota. Uh, Mariota had a bad day. Russ put up like 19 or something like that. Uh, CMC had 17.8. Um, I think instead of CMC and David Johnson, I played Lat Murray and Gurley were the combination I had in the other one. And they did pretty well. Uh, the CMC and, and David Johnson went 20.1 and 17.8. Uh, Melvin Gordon put up 20 um, at 60% owned, the Titans defense at 76% put up seven. They're just a good defense, I think. I mean, the Bills won the game, but I think that defense is still really good. I think it's a really good defense for the Titans, so I'll be targeting them a lot. They play the Ravens this week. We'll talk about that in the first look lineup on DraftKings uh, tomorrow. But I do really like them, and I think they should be uh, they should be a nice play for this week. Uh, Jimmy Graham. Got on him late with Marquez Valdez-Scantling with uh, Allison and Cobb both being ruled out for the game. Uh, Jimmy Graham had one catch called back that was about 20 yards, and he also had one that he dropped for like 8. So he could have gotten the 100 yards. Um, if he would have had 8 for 100 and something, it would have been a much better week for Jimmy Graham, especially on DraftKings. But, but can't complain about the points that he put up. Uh, Kenny Galladay put up 17.8. Like I said, I loved him over here. I did play him in a GPTP lineup on DraftKings as well as my Thursday through Monday lineup. So I did get a little bit of exposure to him there. Uh, Marquez Valdez-Scantling came in at 41% over here. I was kind of surprised about that. He had 7 for 68 and a touchdown. He almost had 7 for 69 and 2 touchdowns, which would have been huge. But uh, we'll take the 16.3 uh, for a guy that priced. Tyler Boyd was a bust in this lineup, just had 4 for 44. Uh, in the final build, I did not have him. I don't quite remember who I had over him. Um, let me see. I think I have... I have the picture up on Twitter of the lineup that I was going to play. Uh, let's see here. So... Oh, it had Julio, that lineup that I had with Lat Murray and Todd, Todd Gurley. It had Julio Jones in it for 8.7 points. Uh, Julio Julio had put up the big old fat zero for most of the game. He finally got in it. Uh, David Johnson, touchdown dependent, but he did get the two rushing touchdowns, which was nice. Uh, but FanDuel, you know, not too big of a deal for me. Uh, I play it mostly for fun and mostly to give advice for people if anybody asks me about FanDuel or whatnot, or to make a video. I do play, I played 100 bucks this week, which was the most I've played this season. Uh, usually I've been playing around the 40 or $50 range on FanDuel. Moving over to DraftKings. That died on me. Okay, so here we go. Let's zoom in a little bit here. We're zoomed out. So we'll zoom that bad boy in right there. All right, so this is the 333 Wildcat. You guys know I play this every week. I finished 910th. I had a second lineup. This was a GPP hedge lineup that included Julio. Um, did not cash. Finished, what, 8 points out of cash, or 12 points out of cash. Uh, I had the Browns D, David Johnson, Nick Vanette, 
Um, Marcus Valdez Scantling, Juju. Juju was kind of the big disappointment. I loved Adam Thielen all day, and then a friend talked me off of Thielen to Juju. And it's not like Juju was terrible or anything like that. It's just that Juju wasn't great. So he, uh, it, it could have been a better week had I played Thielen or like anyone else other than everybody other than I like Thielen, and then I like Devontae Adams, and then I liked. There was another person in the 7K range. I don't know. Ju- Juju was last. And if I would have played Devontae Adams or Thielen, it could have been a much bigger week than it was. Still was a really good week. Uh, Julio was in this lineup. He put in 11.2. Yeldon, CMC, and Stafford were in this hedge lineup. Wasn't that much of a hedge. But uh, here was my cash lineup over here. We had Matt Stafford at uh, 15.2. Uh, the game script wasn't terrible for him he just you know green bay turned it over once and blunt powered it in they turned it over again and blunt powered it in again it was 14 to nothing and stafford had like one completion and then it was like 17 nothing and stafford had six passes total and two completions like it was just it just didn't work out like i don't have an issue with how it went with stafford um it just it, it just didn't pan out game script wise for him. TJ Yeldon turned out to be a great value. He had that receiving touchdown, eight receptions for fifty three or for, for sixty nine yards and then fifty three yards rushing. If that game didn't get so incredibly egregiously out of hand, I think TJ Yeldon gets a hundred yards rushing. But the game kind of got out of hand on him, so yeah, so they had to they had to throw it, which resulted in receptions. But I think he might have had a little bit better game had he gotten the 100 rushing yards I bet I think he would have got the end zone um James Conner this is why I hedged lineup uh because I didn't like James Conner so I hedged to get away from James Conner because I just didn't like him he hadn't been doing anything um but he had four receptions for 75 yards which was completely huge little lucky but completely huge he went for 110 rushing yards because the game turned into a blowout. I mean, he did rush for a lot of yards while the game was close, um, but he got the 100 yard bonus a lot because it blew out. Uh, and he had two rushing touchdowns, put up 37 and a half DK points. Um, Marvin Jones thought he would be a little chalkier than he was. Um, I kind of jammed him in. I really wanted Kenny Galladay, um, but I went with Marvin Jones, and he had the one catch for a touchdown. Got bailed out by the touchdown. That's really all I can say about that. It, it, I don't think it was a good play at all at this point. Like, it's not a hindsight. I didn't really like it to begin with because I thought Kenny Galladay would get more of the looks. And even though Golden Tate's matchup was tough, they jammed it to him a couple of times just to force touches to Golden Tate. So, I don't know. I, I'm fine with the play. I mean, it worked out, but it was just not a great play. Uh, Juju, like I already talked about, not happy with that play. Four for 34 and a touchdown. If he doesn't get that touchdown, it's just a nightmare day with how the other guys priced it similarly did. Uh, Marquez Valdez-Scantling, really good game from him. 19.8 over here on DraftKings. Close. It was real close to um, a 20, what, 25 point, or 26 point day for him, pretty much. It would have been it would have been 25.9 points. would have been huge for him. Jimmy Graham, like I said, he had his opportunities to get that 100-yard bonus. He played like absolute garbage and got seven for 76 which is just insane uh it could have been so huge from jimmy graham but as all right cmc he had the 58 rushing yards and, and he had like 45 in the first half and i was like oh yeah he's on his well on his way to getting that 100 yard bonus i mean even if he doesn't find the end zone it's going to be great and then he found the end zone and i was like oh my gosh maybe he can get the 100 yard bonus and the and the touchdown but it just didn't come he only got what 15 yards or 13 yards in the second half but he did catch five balls for 35 in the second half uh, with that touchdown so that was really nice I played I played the Jaguars defense to my own detriment I had enough money for the Jags defense and I was like okay well I can play the Jags or the Ravens or I, I love the Browns all week that's why they're in the hedge lineup here um but I was like, well, I have enough for the Jaguars' defense. You know, I have enough. The Jaguars are never going to be $2,800 again. 
why don't I take a shot on the Jaguars? Because I thought maybe they could get me some points. I mean, they did put up five, but they got, got they got outscored by a fair amount by the Jaguars and the or by the Browns and the Ravens. So it just didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted it to. But it was a good week all in all. Uh, have a have some nice takeaways from this week. You know, um, I don't I don't know. Sometimes I like to eat the chalk. Sometimes I don't. Um, sometimes it pays off. Sometimes it doesn't. It didn't pay off this week, but it didn't end up costing you hugely this week. Um, if you did just eat the chalk with a Marvin Jones and a Juju Smith-Schuster, they turned in as the highest owned plays in cash games. Thielen and Adams were lower owned, um, and so was Kenny Galladay. But I just noticed why Chipotle forget why Chipotle play. Oh, oh, Chipotle played two lineups that scored the exact same in the three thirty three. That's very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Yeah, there's the Devontae Adams, 32 points. Like I said, I was I was all over Devontae Adams. I was going to play three Packers in cash, and then I was like, yeah, you know what? Juju looks like just as good a play as Devontae Adams. Let me just play Juju, and yeah, ended up costing me 19 points. But that's going to do it, guys, for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned tomorrow. We'll go ahead and do the early week preview. Um, and then Wednesday we will have the video talking about the Thursday, um, the Thursday night showdown slate. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thank you guys for keeping a little bit of patience with me. It, it's kind of hard with school and everything. Um, I, I had some issues uh, that I had to take care of with school. They were being stupid about one of my classes, and so I had to take care of that. So I've had a pretty busy week the last week, but I think it's all settled down, and I think we're back to pretty much sticking with the recording schedule. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.